The LinkedIn Podcast Network is sponsored by TIAA. TIAA makes you a retirement promise, a promise of a guaranteed retirement paycheck for life. Learn more at TIAA.org backslash promises pay off. LinkedIn presents. Happy Wednesday, friends. I'm Michael Kovnat. This is the Next Big Idea Daily. Quick masterclasses from the best new books written and read for you by the authors themselves. Hit the follow button to subscribe and sign up for one of our newsletters using the link in the episode notes. We'll help make you smarter, faster. And today, maybe a little richer, because we're going to hear from Darius Faru, author of the new book, The Stoic Path to Wealth, Ancient Wisdom for Enduring Prosperity. Darius is an investor, entrepreneur, blogger, and podcast host, and he realized that the traits that make a good investor, like patience, self-discipline, and the ability to master your emotions, are also core principles of the ancient philosophy of Stoicism. So studying the Stoics isn't just an academic pursuit. It might just be the path to a richer life. Here's Darius to share a few of his big ideas. Managing your emotions is the key to building wealth in the stock market. In the long run, public markets are still the best wealth builder on the planet. The truth is that we can't afford to not invest. While most assets have appreciated in value over the last century, our purchasing power hasn't changed much. Sure, wages have increased, but so has inflation. The end result? If you don't invest, it's more likely that you lose money over the long term. But investing is difficult because it goes against human nature. We need to make choices today that pay off in the future. And this is the number one challenge to wealth building and investing. When I started investing and quickly lost money, my response was like almost any other human. I just stopped investing altogether. That's what happens to many investors who simply start investing without a strategy. They invest in something just because other people do it. And when the market crashes, The pain of loss is so bad that they swear to never invest again. While I missed out on huge returns in the years that followed the financial crisis, I spent my time figuring out how successful investors stayed in the game. So in my experience, investing is 9% theory, 1% execution, and 90% managing your emotions. That's why I've been applying the philosophy of stoicism to my investing strategy. It really helps me to manage the most important part, my emotions. Stoicism is an ancient Greek philosophy that started in the 3rd century BC. The foundation of Stoicism is based on the principle of knowing what's inside your control versus what's outside your control. The beauty of this philosophy is that it can be explained in one sentence. At its core, Stoicism is a way of protecting your sanity by managing your emotions. Similarly, you can use Stoicism to manage your money so you can become a consistent investor, which is how you actually build wealth. Investing in your skills is the best way to protect yourself financially. While you don't have to be rich to get started with investing, you need to earn more than you spend. To earn more in our economy, we need income-generating skills like writing, coding, speaking, leading, etc. Acquiring skills is the most stoic thing you can do because you start by focusing on what you control. And in today's economy, a person who can create value with their skills will never be without a job for a long time. Every investor that I've studied started earning a living by putting in the work. Most of them had jobs working for someone else. Warren Buffett worked as a securities analyst at Graham Newman from 1954 to 1956. He started his own partnership after that experience. Another famous investor, George Soros, pursued multiple academic degrees between 1947 and 1954. And then he took a job as a clerk at a small investment bank, which was his start in finance. Now, I can go on and on with examples like these, but I think you get the point. We all need to get started with earning money as the foundation of wealth building. It means you can create value from nothing but your skills. When your skills become a reliable means of earning money, you will no longer fear being without a job. 
you will free up more mental energy to invest your money and let it compound. Because the truth is that while it's possible to lose money, the skills you've acquired will always remain with you. And that's actually a priceless thing. To stay invested in the stock market, you must get comfortable with short-term losses. There's one critical aspect of wealth that mainstream books and articles don't cover, and that is the importance of dealing with loss. The majority of people can't even stand the thought of losing money. That's because of the psychological concept of loss aversion, which refers to how outcomes are interpreted as gains and losses where losses are subject to more sensitivity in people's responses compared to the equivalent gains acquired. I can really relate to this concept of loss aversion a lot, where losses have more weight than gains, because growing up, our family lived paycheck to paycheck, and we were always to our necks in debt. As I grew older and started to earn my own money, I also started holding on to it for dear life. This is a problem if you're serious about investing. I can't think of a single successful investor who did not lose money. But look into the history of Warren Buffett and you will see that his firm, Berkshire Hathaway, was a failed textile company. The famous billionaire hedge fund manager Bill Ackman lost hundreds of millions of dollars when he betted against a stock in 2012. George Soros took a 22% hit in 1981 when his bet on British government bonds didn't play out. In all these examples, their biggest successes came after their biggest losses. But here's the important thing. The key is to never lose big. When you have a solid long-term investment strategy, like investing in the S&P 500 index, which consists of the 500 largest companies in the U.S., you can bet that your investment will not go to zero. Sure, the stock market might decline, but as long as the economy grows, the market will always come back. It has done so for the past 100 years and is likely to keep going up over the next 100. When you experience losses in the market, remember it's only temporary. And when you get comfortable with handling those types of short-term losses, you will set yourself up for long-term success. To let your money compound in the future, you must part with your money today. When you've acquired some money, you can start turning it into a lot of money. You'll rely on the power of compounding to grow what you have today. And then you will no longer rely solely on exchanging your time for money, which will give you a lot of sense of freedom. I think that's the true definition of wealth, to break free from the trap of earning money with your time. Instead, you will let your money do the work for you. Small returns year after year will lead to big results over time. When you're consistently investing in the stock market, it's only a matter of time before your wealth will grow exponentially. This knowledge should give you satisfaction every time you invest. Just visualize that the money you invest today will be worth more in the future. Isn't that a good feeling? Now. The most stoic thing you can do with your money is to say goodbye to it for a long time, the moment you invest it in the market. Just say to yourself, hey, I won't see this money back for a long time. This mental shift will help you to avoid forced selling because that's the biggest threat to long-term investors when you sell too soon. And if you can avoid that, you can let your money do its work and let it compound for you. And this is how the greatest wealth is created. If you invest consistently, you don't have to worry about your retirement. Too many people worry about whether they will be financially okay when they retire. You can take this worry away by doing the right thing today. When you consistently live below your means, enjoy a simple life, and invest in the stock market every month, you will inevitably build wealth. It's only a matter of time before you become financially robust. This means that you don't have to worry about your retirement today. Focus on the present. As one of the most famous Stoic philosophers, Seneca, once said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. 
not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied. End quote. The key is to take action. But we tend to keep searching and searching. We want to find that special piece of wisdom that somehow should make the difference. So we read more books. We listen to more podcasts. We follow all the kinds of different investing and money gurus online. Until you take your own money and put it on the line, I can guarantee you that you will never know what it feels like to invest. I can say that I've made nearly all the investing mistakes one can make, but stoicism helped me to become a better investor because it made me more level-headed. Every time you invest in something, you're taking a risk with your hard-earned money, which will always remain scary. But no matter what happens, don't talk yourself out of investing. You honestly can't afford to not invest. In the long term, markets still move in one direction, up. You either take the ride up or you stay where you are. Thank you, Darius. All right, that's our show for the day, everyone. If you got something out of it, please leave us a rating or review in your podcast player so others can find it too. And if you didn't like it, well, give us another chance. We'll be back tomorrow with some big ideas from the book Better Boys, Better Men, the new masculinity that creates greater courage and emotional resiliency. If you're a man or you've got any men in your life, you'll want to check that out. See you tomorrow.